66. Sabah lah. Hmm. 68 boleh nak pinjam oh, wow. ni. Webinar. Hmm? Uh, hmm. Nak ya nak Facebook lah. Ha? Hmm. Webinar. Webinar. Webinar jam. <coughs> All right, once again, everybody, good evening. And once again, welcome right here to the Market Outlook and Stocks to Watch. We're going to talk tonight about pre- and post election right here and today with us in the studio right here Sifu Fred Tam. Good evening Mr. Fred. Good evening. Good evening everybody. <laughs> okay now before we get start right here uh now before we get start right here I want to check with all of you before we get start uh we want to see what is your comment right here can you see us right now everyone can you see us can you listen to us right here if yes go ahead there and type on the chat box there yes uh David says offline let me have a look first why is offline uh, David say offline. I think we need to check with our our crew right here. So try to refresh. Okay, we'd like it to check. So David say offline. Michelle Wong say live stream is offline. We want to check first uh, with some of you right here before we get started. Okay, so let's check first. Uh, today is a very interesting day and now we want to check with uh, our technical director right now for our program here. Uh, just want to check whether our live stream is okay. Tio say okay now. <laughs> okay, once again guys, welcome right here to the Market Outlook and Stocks to Watch right here. And today we're going to talk about the pre and the post election. Now before we get started, we want to check again right here. Uh, for those who can see us right now, those who can listen to us right now, just type the yes on the chat box and if you can listen to us right now just uh just tell us where are you listening to us right now so we want to know okay so let me have a look right here peter say hi uh one say okay david say okay thanks amy say yes okay peter say yes kids say okay as well so <laughs> okay once again everybody good evening and welcome right here to the market outlook and stocks to watch right here in the studio we feel very honored to have Sibu fred right here how are you mr fred <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. Okay, now, uh, Mr. Fred, uh, about to get started right here for a quick comment. Oh, I see start, everybody started coming already. Okay, now, before we get started right here, uh, I want to wish to all our Muslim friends, uh, happy Ramadan, happy fasting, okay, and uh, another few weeks uh, we're going to celebrate uh, Hari Raya. Now already open your fast, you already breakfast right now. So this is a Ramadan month, uh, this month, and another few more weeks is going to be Hari Raya. And uh, we are so excited about what exactly happened right here in Malaysia as well. So shortly, Mr. Fred uh, will share with all of you what is uh, going on. So tonight, pay your attention right here. Tonight is going to be a very interesting market outlook by Mr. Fred and the TED team. So pay attention. You may need to take a jot down some notes. Uh, there will be stocks for us to watch uh, for today. Now, before we get started right here, I'm going to change it uh, into our next screen right here so that everyone can see. Now, we're going to talk about a little bit about our market for today. Now, let's talk about the market for today. Bursa Malaysia today, 24th of May. Okay, now we're going to talk about the gainers for today. So today, we have a 235 counters uh, up. Meanwhile, the losers counter is 752. Turnover today is 3.8 billion and KLCI plunge 28.59. The market breath for Bursa Malaysia today is negative so we want to talk more about this so ladies and gentlemen without further ado please welcome mr fred Tom. hello everybody a hey, welcome all of you to uh, our monthly webinar a market outlook and stocks to watch in fact we have been doing this for the past for two years we started off in 2015 and every month you know we have uh, this market outlook and stocks to watch and uh, you know what it's uh, two and a half years three yep. years now and uh, it is still so popular yes. and i must thank you all yes. for tuning in and thank you all for giving us the support without which yep. uh, we won't be here today so yep. continue to support us thank those you who so are much. new <laughs> thank you Yes. Yeah. And uh, for your information, that uh, we want to thank you, everyone, uh, each of you right here, because because of you guys, uh, this program become the most watched series and the number one most 
uh, watch a webinar right here for uh, stock market, especially Bursa mm. Malaysia. So thank you very much once again mm -hmm. uh, to all of you. Yep. And uh, today I'm going to talk about market outlook as usual, but there's a little bit of difference. Mm. There's a little bit of difference in the sense that this outlook, uh, uh, we just had our 14 general elections. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, um, uh, of course, Pakatan Rayat, uh, Pakatan Hadapan, sorry, uh, has uh, uh, um, unexpectedly won uh, the election. Eh? And the BN is uh, now no longer in power. So I would like to share with you all uh, how our market sentiment was before the elections. And the elections, if I can uh, just have you recall, is on the May the 9th, May the 9th. So what happened to the market? Actually, the market at sentiment uh, before the election. And I also like to describe, okay, uh, look at the, uh, the market after the elections. Mm -hmm. Was it better, the market uh, good before the elections? And those of you who are actually trading the market will know that, well, you know, uh, it's not so good. So what about now after the election? So I will um, tonight uh, um, uh, describe to you about the before and after. So my topic for tonight will be as follows. Number one, I would like to review the performance of the KLSC uh, before and after. Um, the KLSC here means uh, the CI stocks as well as the small and the mid-cap stocks, the smaller aligners. Uh, and um, just for your information, they don't move together. All right, the blue chips got their way of moving and the small caps uh, and mid caps have another direction of moving. And I think most of you are actually uh, are in the small and mid cap. So we have the small and mid cap index for that purpose. And uh, secondly, then I'll talk about which of the stocks um, they are worse off after the elections. Mm -hmm. Number three, I'll talk about, share with you about which stocks are better off uh, after the elections. Okay, and then the... Fourth, then I would like to uh, invite Mr. Izon uh, to share with those of you uh, over here who would like to learn charting, mm. who would like to uh, learn to trade using charts and technical analysis. Because we've got here a, uh, a three months course that we'd like to share with you, which is a world standard kind of a technical analysis course with the Society Technical Analysts in UK. And uh, uh, um, uh, we uh, I will have uh, Mr. Izon to share with you more about why you should take this course and how this course can really, really help you to be a good trader, yes. a best trader, a profitable mm -hmm. trader in the Kuala Lumpur Stock Exchange, not only that, in commodities, in futures, in forex, and so on. So uh, do stay with us uh, for that interesting portion which uh, Mr. Izon yep. is going to share with us. And uh, when uh, after he has done his sharing, uh, those of you who like stocks to watch, yep. then I will give you some stocks for you to watch mm -hmm. for uh, the next week, yeah? coming weeks and months. So uh, let's uh, start off, yeah? start off with uh, analyzing the market. So now I have here with us a Kuala Lumpur Composite Index. Yeah? This is the Kuala Lumpur Composite Index. And um, um, uh, how did the market do? All right, uh, um, before the elections, now as you can see, before the elections, if I point out to H14, it started from there, started to come down and down. And at, on the 8th of May, which is basically the eve of the election, all right, the market okay, did a rebound, but still much lower. Mm -hmm. So uh, my uh, just judging from the CI, uh, the way it moved, you can see that the CI actually was weak before the election. So, um, so election night, and then the next day, we all voted. And um, um, I personally um, uh, also was quite shocked because the result came out. And it turned out that not, it's not the ruling party that actually won the election. It was the opposition party that won the election. And I still remember uh, that uh, uh, um, I was thinking up immediately after the result were announced, I said, die like this time. Uh, the stocks are going to fall uh, because, number one, the opposition has got no experience running this country. I expected them to win a few states, uh, mm -hmm. but I didn't expect uh, them to win, win. 
uh, about what eight nine states and they uh, only lost four and so i say where is their experience to govern uh, uh, the uh, country and so um, um in fact many analysts including bloomberg foreigners uh, brokers they expect a sell down on the ci uh, and on on the whole market a sell down and one of the brokers i won't mention name actually talk about another 100 points down to 1500 you know. <laughs> but so we were all bracing for it but um a lot of my students uh, our students ask us ask me uh, what do i think i would i say well i don't bet whether uh, or who whether if it is the pakatan they will fall or what or maybe pakatan they will go up so i will merely just look at the chart just before the election on may the 8 uh, 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 the, the 8th of may if the pattern of the chart is up that means if my chart shows that the stock is bullish yeah, i will hold over and doesn't matter which uh, a, pa uh, a party wins uh, uh, it will move in the direction of the chart and so uh, um guess what happened on when um when we all came out came back uh, from a long holiday remember um there was two days holidays given by uh Tun dr Mahathir, right and then after that, uh, we had uh, another two days of uh, weekend off. And then on Monday, we came back. Monday was like 14 or uh, 14. So on the first day, and 14. guess what? The market actually dropped 30 points, you know, in the first Morning. couple of minutes. Yes. Whoa, you know, I said, there you are. I told you that, uh, you know, many of them say uh, that uh, it's going to go down. But I said, hold on a minute. It's turning back up again. Mm -hmm. So just within four minutes. The market shot back up, okay, and then went to even in 23 minutes. By 9.23 in the morning, our market was neutral, back to overnight. And from then onwards, uh, all the way up to close, up 20 points. Well, actually it was up 20 points, but last minute sell down, okay, uh, made it close just three points higher. But still, uh, the whole day was monopolized by the bulls. It's very much like Donald Trump won the election. Uh, into 0.16, I remember. And then you remember it kept down and then 800 points. The same thing like us and then uh, went all the way up. So and that's what happened. And uh, <laughs> wow, yes. I haven't seen that kind of volume, <laughs> exactly. you know, before. Yep. Uh, in the history of the bus, 7, 7 billion ringgit. So in, in technical analysis, you know, uh, when you have uh, a price up, volume up, uh, yes. what the Dow theory says, what? Strong. Uh, it's a very strong market. Yes. And very strong market. Uh, that volume tells us, tells me that uh, a lot of investors uh, are in the market to push the market. That means they, are, they feel so good about uh, the win. Okay. Otherwise, uh, you won't see, number one, so much volume. And number two, you don't see... Uh, the whole market rallying the whole day and then stay there. It, it might uh, rally in a couple of uh, minutes or hours and then come back down again. Now, that, that kind of thing is a false rally, but uh, no. So now I'm going to show you what happened immediately uh, after May the four, uh, 9, which is uh, May the 14th. So May the 14th is the first day. Okay, now that is the eve of the election here, as you can see. It was a lower 1819. And guess what? Look at that. On the May the 14th, it gap down, right? It came, went and tested a new a low of 1797, and you turn back up all the way to close, right? Three points up because of a last minute selling of a few counters. That's all. Otherwise, it's going to close 20 points up. But look at that. The next day, two days, three days, four days, five days. Eh? These are business days. They just continue to stay up. Didn't go up very much. And the reason is because they already went up so much yep. on that uh, 14. Uh, so they're just digesting their gains. Look mm -hmm. at the volume here. This kind of volume uh, is exceptional. And price is up and volume is up. It's actually very strong. Mm -hmm. And actually, it was holding very well. See, our market was holding well. So if you ask me, I would say that uh, the market was immediately became better with the new government. Mm -hmm. With the new government, the uh, investors are not worried about them. In fact, they welcome it. How do I know? Look at the charts. The charts are telling straight away okay, that uh, it rallied and stayed there. Stay there, stay there until the 21st. 21st is two days ago. Yeah? And uh, it closed at 1853. Now, 
So if you ask me, uh, how did the new government did in terms of the stock market? I would say the stock market welcomed the new government. That's what it is, yeah? Uh, from the CI point of view. After we look at a small cap, mid cap. Altogether, just this minus that, it went up actually 34 points. The CI or 1.86 after the Pakatan Harapan won. So that is the one uh, observation that I have as regards uh, our Malaysian market. Uh, definitely um, with the new government, it can be seen that there are more investors coming out to invest by virtue of the 7 billion. We never saw 7 billion before. And why are they out? They feel very comfortable. Mm -hmm. They feel very comfortable with the new government. Is little, like They are liberated like, you know, like Merdeka again. Yeah. It's like we are in a new era. Yeah. And we are in a new Malaysia. Everybody is celebrating. And there is new hope for the country. And that's how, what the, the prices are telling us. So very good. But what happened in the next couple of days, up to today? 22nd, 23rd, 24th. Now you all know. Our XPM went to MACC. And after that, okay, he made a few statements and the market fell. So this is what happened to our market in the next last two days. So you, as you can see from this red, red, red candle, long, long candles, uh, that they actually wipe out all the gains. Yeah. That started immediately on the first day of trading. And that's how serious these two days have been. Mm -hmm. And as you can see from the chart, I have uh, uh, annotated here that Najib integrated by uh, interrogated by MECC interview question. All right. And then the, when it came out, they make a couple of statements and the market fell. And today he made some statements again and the market fell. Okay, and of course, the government also made some statements. I think uh, this regarding the uh, one, the new debt that we owe, uh, that we owe, the liabilities of the country is now not 600 billion uh, like the, uh, the old government has mentioned, but it's more like 1 trillion. So uh, 1 trillion is about 80% of a debt over GDP ratio. Yep. And that's a lot mm -hmm. because America is only like 50 or percent uh, to uh, debt to GDP yeah. and we are like 80 uh, 80 percent mm -hmm. so uh, I, so if you ask me I think the market reacted uh, this couple of days because of um, Mr. Lim Guan Ng's and also Dr. Mahadi's uh, twin Dr. Mahadi's uh, announcement that uh, the country is uh, Malaysia has owed uh, that uh, creditors uh, about one one trillion uh, ringgit, so um, the market didn't take it very well, okay. And so um, uh, today as well, yesterday and then today and then, of course, ex uh, prime minister also uh, 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 did mention about it. You know, you that we have been very negative, and that is why the investors are selling down, okay. To the, and uh, apparently, Tun Daim, uh, Tun da, Tun Mari is saying. Well, uh, the um, uh, we don't worry care about the credit rating. Uh, credit uh, agencies can uh, downgrade us. Is okay. So apparently, apparently, this kind of uh, messages sent out by uh, the leadership, current leadership, is causing concern among foreign investors, mm -hmm. and hence they sell down. And so, um, so if you ask me, okay, um, based on this, what is going to happen? Now, if based on the chart, uh, it's going to go down further because this is now broken out of a, uh, the, 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 I call it flagship candles low. I mean, that day on May the 14th, that was a very important day. Mm -hmm. Now, on that day, a lot of buyers went in to support the market. Yeah. Today, it actually broke below the low of May the 14th. And this means that all the efforts to prop up our market is now all nullified, neutralized, uh, and they are losing money. The sellers, based on new factors and new um, uh, thinking, their, their perception is that uh, maybe this country is not yet ready. Mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, by virtue of the negative uh, announcements made, 
which the leadership made. And, and in, in a way, I know why they made because this is the reality. But then people don't like reality, you know. And so uh, it causes a sell down. And um, after this, I'll uh, let you know uh, my view about where it's going to go from here. But uh, from this point, from this point. But let me just say this before I move on. Uh, and that is, um, which I think that you all should know, maybe you all know, I read it from the star. The star just now <clears throat> um, came out with a, uh, a write-up of uh, Prime Min uh, Finance Minister Lim Guan Eng. And Mr. Lim uh, Guan Eng clarified the government stand on a $1 trillion ringgit, uh, that, uh, <coughs> which comprise of what item, what item, owing to who and who and who. Mm -hmm. And so he, now he got some facts okay, mm -hmm. that the market can study. Because a couple of days ago, he just merely just mentioned off the cuff and uh, with no facts backing it, it's quite hard and difficult for people to accept that. Okay, so now uh, he has come out today and it's just published by the, and if you can read it in the Star Online, okay, by recognizing its true debt situation today, it will enable the federal government to take concrete actions to regularize and strengthen our financial state. That's what Mr. Lim said. And I think this is very timely, mm -hmm. uh, what he said. And uh, hopefully that tomorrow the market will respond uh, to that statement. The financial sector, he continues, uh, is very stable, yep. right? The banking sector is very well capitalized mm -hmm. and there is sufficient liquidity in the market. So I think this is very good, uh, uh, positive uh, announcement by him. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, uh, so let us uh, hope that tomorrow the sellers will come to their senses that actually Malaysia is unlike any other developing country. We have a very solid financial sector, a manufacturing base. Okay, we have got solid banks with adequate liquidity and well, uh, uh, this capitalizes, well capitalized, mm -hmm. all right? <clears throat> and we got a rule of law and so on. So that uh, um, uh, actually, if you ask me, and uh, this is actually the best time to be investing in Malaysian stocks, yeah? So if it does go lower, well, if you're holding good stocks, not to worry. So what are called good stocks, what are bad stocks? Good stocks, I'm going to show share with you. The MIDS, the mid-cap, small-cap index, got 100 stocks inside there, many are good. And we have picked them out to become a TAD stocks, TAD, turtle, atom, and duck stocks, and which I'm going to share with you. So let's continue. Huh? Let's continue. So these two days actually dropped 70 points or 3.8%. Mm -hmm. It is actually bad. Huh? Yep. It is actually bad. And so uh, I, I take note of that. Now, this is the, um, let's look at the percentage change pre and post. So now I like to take, uh, look, if May the 9th is zero, day zero, uh, then I go back 60 days back and that'll be 1st of March. I pick up that closing price of that share on that date, 1st of March. And I compare it with 8th of May, the last day before you go into voting, polling. This minus that, okay? And if, um, let's say the price is lower, it will be a minus sign. If the price is higher than the March the 1st, it will be a bullish sign. So I take two dates pre, and the post is I take up the 21st. I take up the 21st because that's the time that I did this, I did this chart, I did this uh, diagram. So let's look at the CI. And eh? this is a list of all the sub indices, the main index, sub index, main index first. March the 30th, it was 1860. Mm -hmm. 8th of May, it was 1846. Change is 14 points. Percentage change is 7.77%. All right. On the 21st of May, it is 1853. So 1853 minus 8 of May, which is 1846, and you get 7.7. .7. .7. So you can see that it is a positive post election compared to pre election. It was down 14. Can you all see that? So therefore, the positive change is 0.38%. Mm -hmm. Now, think about it. This is the CI. Yep. And the CI, what it is saying is, okay, it didn't do well prior to election. Mm -hmm. This is the date of the election. After the election, up to 21st. Huh? Mm -hmm. Don't say up to today. Like up to today is down. Mm -hmm. But we all know why it came down. Because of certain announcements made by the new leadership. Yep. Rightly so. And also certain uh, 
retaliations made by the ex uh, PM, uh, which has also you know caused some damage. <clears throat> now, so the, for the CI, actually, you can say that people welcome the new leadership, the new government. That's why I say. Let's go to the small cap and mid cap. So, which is represented by the FBM S cap, which is mid and small cap index. Uh, these are the mid and the small cap. Uh, something like 500 million paid up and below. Now, you got one on the 1st of March, it was like that. And, uh, and 8 of May. So, I compared the two. I get the difference of minus 11%. This is even worse than the CI. Exactly. Uh, these lower liners, you know, they have been sold off since the January, February, March. Three sell off. Mm -hmm. After this, I show you, if uh, we have a chart here. And then down to May, down to May. So it was down 11%, a lot, a lot, a lot. Now, guess what? On the 21st of May, post election, mm -hmm. the small and mid cap rose 1.36%. That is very good. Interesting. Very interesting. interesting. Mm -hmm. So we got, now let me go very fast huh? because we they have got many con sectors now. Mm -hmm. So the next sector was a small cap, huh? small cap also, uh, same things. And then we got construction. Construction oh. before was 6%. But after was 19. So construction came down a lot. Yep. Why? Okay, we all know why. Because the construction uh, consists of uh, those companies that are bidding or have contracts in all the big mega projects by the last government. Yes. Like IJM, like Gamuda, like George, George Chen. Chen. Okay, so they take up all the MRTs, uh, they take up all the ECRL and yes. the high speed railway, okay, and all these other things. And so this sector stocks are taking a bashing because the new government as you all know mm -hmm. they are not going to uh, continue with many of these yes. and those that they continue will be renegotiated their contracts mm -hmm. and so this construction sector actually you should avoid okay after we'll give you a list of construction sectors that uh, stocks yeah consumer now, so construction is down. Consumer 0.89 percent, as opposed to nine percent. Mm -hmm. So consumer, therefore, is a plus plus. <laughs> okay, and if you have bought consumer, you still can buy consumer. There are certain stocks still on the uptrend. It's already on the uptrend. The reason being this, and also it's probably what is, was uh, it? going to be zero GST as well. That is actually uh, a major bonus, reason. Probably bonus for two yeah, months. Correct. Yeah. So zero GST. I think the consumer will be. They like uh, it. They like it. Yeah. I think consumer love it. That's why we start to see people beginning on the first June, people start to buy before the new SST. Oh yeah. Before SST is going to be introduced yeah. again. So people yeah. using this window right here. Right. <laughs> so you know, like the handphone now, people are buying it. So these phone companies are very smart, right? Yeah. So they are going to say, Yeah, if you buy now, okay, we won't charge you GST. Exactly. <laughs> All right, you don't have to wait until June to buy. Yeah. I mean, uh, same with Proton cars, you know? Yes. Uh, so um, there will be a lot of spending, like, put it this way. Uh, this uh, two months because this is a tax fee period until exactly. June the first, so I so there's no reason why the market is coming down, mm -hmm. and the reason why it's coming down is because uh, people are just uh, too emotional about uh, yeah. what the uh, leadership say, uh, what the ex leadership say, uh, but the country is stable. Mm -hmm. Okay, look, we achieve uh, a change over in government without a single bullet, yep. no bloodshed at all. Yes. Look, now even the advanced countries. And they are admiring us for the maturity of our democracy. Yes. And so, um, so, so why is there panic? It's because of emotions, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. But of course, if you buy the wrong stocks, then it's like construction is not good. It's continuing to fall right now. Okay. So after I show you a few charts on that. So finance also up a little bit, yeah. Uh, industrial product up, uh, okay. Industrial also up. Mining up. Plantation up. Properties up, uh, REITs up, technology up a lot, oh, yeah. and Beautiful. trading and services. Yeah. So as you can see uh, on the right-hand side, mm -hmm. they are all blue. You know? Blue means that they are on a positive. Only one is red, and that is the construction sector. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to show you in the form of a histogram. Histogram easier to see. Yeah? So this is the performance of a KLSE indices pre- and post-election. So let's start off with KLCI. As you can see, it's very a little, uh, minimal, uh, only up a little bit. Okay, so the uh, small cap, which was down a lot, now turned to be up a little bit, which is considered up 
quite a bit because of the down, you know. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the small cap. The construction continue to stay down. Eh? Construction, I shall tell you, these are the stocks in mega projects. Consumer, they are up. Those GST, uh, zero com GST companies, right? Retailers and so on, Pandini and all that. All right, um, they, they uh, 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 would, uh, yeah, so, uh, 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 Bosnia and, and so on and so forth. They okay. are going to, like, uh, 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 Eon, Eon Credit, okay, all this, they are going up. So, finance a little bit, yeah, uh, now a little bit shaky because of uh, the uh, one MDB and also that and so on. So, uh, for the moment, it's a little bit shaky, okay, but uh, it should be okay. For industrial product is up industrial and uh mining uh, okay a plantation properties uh, technology yeah? and uh, trading services so uh, overall uh, uh, what this is telling us is the indices are telling us is the histograms is that people like okay uh, uh, people are positive uh, about this government rather okay and so instead of staying away they are invested okay so these are the four sectors <clears throat> now consumers so here are some of the stocks to watch now they include nestle dutch lady fnn heineken heineken Carlsberg, okay bat padini bonia kd and so on okay <clears throat> industrial uh, also a good okay so they are very like industrial huh? so they have rubber gloves they have this and that so eg dufu agia hevia and a uh, hartalega um uh, the top glove okay in uh, wasyong and all this okay uh, so, uh, uh, in, uh, gloves company and so on <clears throat> so we got a long list quite here so now here uh -huh. is a sector that you shouldn't touch now mm -hmm. it's still reeling under selling pressure yep. okay especially job scan and my eg so just stay out yeah still stay out no all right so what about the small cap and mid caps i just now talked about the ci Small caps, mid cap. Let's start with on the eve before the election. Mm -hmm. Notice that small caps also came down, right? Came down, but they didn't come so much. Came come down so much because they came down from January, February, March. They started coming down. So on the eve of election, they were like quite ambivalent, not sure, mm -hmm. not going down, not going up. So they wait for the outcome. So the outcome of the election come after the election came and then the um, um, uh, the opposition became the government see what happened to the stock so you have another a very very strong rally just like the ci okay and then uh, thereafter it went sideways for five days and so uh, business days and mm -hmm. so by 21st okay uh 13 day after the election all right it was still higher than before and um still higher than before but guess what two days later three days later it can make down so this is as i uh, your, uh, i said to you earlier why is because of what the new leadership reveal about malaysia's debts to foreign creditors one trillion la one mdb issue la, and a list of so many things about the ex uh, leadership yeah and the uh, 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 the pm for example la, like certain Certain bags are taken out from his house, la. It's worth 120 million. So it, those are the things that are spreading out, that are causing and uh, uh, people to sell down, right? Mm -hmm. So I think the new government, uh, it pays for them to uh, communicate with the investors and tell, give, send them messages like coming up with announcements, like Mr. Lim did, right, um, and about the stability of this country, All right? So. Um, so the mid cap it went up 200 points when the Pakatan Harapan won. But the last three days, it gave back up what it gained. Gains. But it is not as bad as the index. The index one uh, is ran, ran below the uh, flagship candle. Now, this is the flagship. Flagship candle means a day when the market reverses. That's a significant candle. It's called flagship. So on the 14th, Remember, 14 is a very important day, 14 of, of May. Eh? So now if it cannot go below that, it's good. So, but it went below for the CI, so the CI is not so strong right now. We want to wait for it. We must see that it goes back above for that one, for you to trade yeah. or invest. But for a small cap, we could see a double bottom. Can you see this? This is today. Eh? Mm -hmm. 
by today actually lifted off the lows. It's got a, some, some kind of like a hammer kind of a pattern. Yep. And so um, it's now just making a double bottom. So uh, small and mid caps are, are stronger, therefore, than the blue chip. That is what these charts are telling us. Okay. So uh, here is a histogram which makes it easier for you to see la. the mm. performance pre and post. Pre, they're down like hell. <laughs> but if the new leadership is not welcomed by investors, you bet post, they even go down some more. Exactly. But they didn't. Mm -hmm. What is it telling you about the investors' perception about these small and mid-cap counters? They're still confident. They're still confident. Yeah. They believe this new, new government. But I think what they're going to do right now is that they're digesting and it's a process of cleaning up. Cleaning uh, some up. Some of Takes them, time. I, I think what you say, Mr. Fraser, is short-term gains for uh, short-term short uh, short pain. Pain for, for a long-term long gain. gain. So this is what they try to do. They try to clean up. It's more like, uh, you know, stabilizing. So we will see, start to see some up and down. But uh, small cap right here, we still see that it's still okay. Uh, yeah. 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 Still supported. Yeah. Yeah. So... We need to be a bit patient on this stock, okay, and uh, don't get too emotional about it. Exactly. Uh, uh, if we hold a good stock, I can see all our good stocks that they're still above 200 day moving average. Mm -hmm. They are still above the flagship candle mm -hmm. low, so they are still okay. Mm -hmm. Right. So except some politically linked counters are that one, you better don't touch that one, yeah? So after that, we're going to show you what are the politically linked yes. counters. Yes. So these are the, the small and mid caps that you can see, yeah? These are the small and mid caps, uh, mm. a very good stock, uh, by the way. Uh, so uh, you might want to take it down. You want now, to screenshot using right. your smartphone. If you... <laughs> so I have a pre and a post. Uh, can you see? Uh? So first, let's stop Penta. Mm -hmm. Penta, before the election, uh, minus 14%, yeah. 0.8. Mm -hmm. After the election, up 7.25. Mm -hmm. So Penta was the in demand. Technology. After, then before, OWG, only World Group. Okay, uh, this is one of our TED stocks. Now, before that, it dropped 26%. Now, it's up 13%. Mm -hmm. So, that means uh, it is actually up about 40% round turn. Okay, can, can, one, can one, sorry. Minus 11 and then become 8. Comfort, minus 29, become 11. So, stock after stock. Uh, Hevia. Hevia is a very good stock. Uh. Uh, it is one of our stocks to watch. I'll give you the chart later. DNO, DNEX, they are all up. Huh? Blue, blue, blue means up. Now, Destiny is down. Why down? It is a political stock. <clears throat> okay? And so it's down. So it was down 27 and even more down after the election. FEVCO up. GCAN down. Okay, GCAN, as we all know, they are in uh, the construction business. So they are politically linked. So they are down. Linked to the wrong, wrong leadership. Huh? Sorry <laughs> to say. <laughs> so, Hapsik, up, Johor Tin up. So, I'm going to go a little bit quick. Eh? Mm -hmm. I got slides to show you. Mm -hmm. Kim Hin, Latitude, Lux Camp, Lee Hin, end to end, Patron. I like to re, uh, restate, uh, uh, to, to emphasize that these are all good stocks. Mm -hmm. Because these are all part of the 100 stocks which Bursa Malaysia Security Commission uh, has recommended to be put into the mid and small cap index. Eh? Mm -hmm. These are not all the lousy lower liners mm -hmm. that one don't play so to know whether they're lousy or not lousy one way you check with the charts yes. so we are chartists mm -hmm. we are technical analysts we will definitely be able to help you yeah. uh, if you become one of our members yeah. right? and uh, you ask us any chart mm -hmm. any stock fa from the fundamental and the technical viewpoint mm -hmm. we will give you our view okay mm -hmm. uh, that is our job and our uh, our service this is what we do for a living yeah Okay, so let's go to the second one. So which stocks are worse off? Worse off, huh? Right. Now, sure, come to mind will be what politically linked, lah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So okay, they are linked to the AMNO, Okay, BN political ties. They are worse off, lah. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, lah. Okay, because we really yeah. also thought the AMNO was going to win, but uh, you know they they really lost terribly. Yeah, lost it's the terribly. People movement. Yeah, it's people's power. Really, yes. you know. The voice of the people. Uh, yeah. And uh, so, just too bad. So, if you have those stocks, these stocks, uh, you better just clear them out, right? Mm -hmm. So, here is a list of those stocks. Uh, wow, and so. uh, the first two, no, uh, these two, basically, Lim, uh, Tan Sri Lim Kang Hui one, uh, he's already out long. Uh, so, Malton, yes, uh, 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 this uh, WCT, George Ken, yeah. Uh, yeah, so many of these, 
okay you shouldn't be looking at okay so just take a step a snapshot of it i'm going to move to the next one all right i give you an example of a stock that is you know um politically linked and it is down look at that mm-hmm. triple limit down huh? limit down means the maximum it can go one day one day one day and from 269 where you see the error there, we our system TAD trading system gave a sell signal. After that, then after maybe two weeks later, we have a sharp drop after the election. All right, and look at that down, down, down to 89 cents. Yeah, and notice uh, the arrow here means that our system, if you had used our trading system, you would have sold off your share. Yes, your my EG. That's what he's saying. Yeah. So we would have bought here on the 12th, 21 of December last year at 225. We would have sold off here the that sell signal at the 269. And so we make some money here, but from 269, we are really no longer in this stock. Yes. It dropped to 89 mm-hmm. today, even worse. Right? And so we stayed out of it. That's the power of this system. And uh, basically, it's a very simple system. And uh, we teach this system. Uh, and that's why Mr. Izon is going to explain to you later on. Yes. Uh, for those of you who are really keen uh, mm-hmm. uh, to learn how to use technical analysis uh, to time your entry and exit. All right, Mr. Izon will explain to you. We have got a beautiful three months course uh, yeah. uh, that can help you to achieve that purpose. So you tell you when to get in a stock, when to get out of stock. Okay, mm-hmm. and this is fantastic. And look right here, Mr. Fat. You did show right here. This system able to save someone from 65.5 percent. Oh yeah, loss. Right. Uh, there this you go. is a very important. Yeah. 66 percent. By that selling before the market plunge. Yes. And merely you just use the three arrows. Yeah. You just got to know that the three arrow down mm-hmm. means that you sell. Not one, not two, but all three must be down. Mm-hmm. So you have a three arrow down. Mm-hmm. One here, one here, one here. Yes. All three down is a sell. Mm-hmm. I still remember one of uh, our trader in Sarawak just because of this three red arrow signal save her about 30 yeah. percent how, how this indicator is so powerful and yeah. it really helped you to save from your you know for the losses yeah. look right here my g is 66.9 percent just imagine if you have put one million you know you yeah, can yeah. save you up to six hundred thousand. that's a lot that's a lot yeah that's a, yeah, lot. That's huh? a lot yeah so it, it it tells you beforehand you know we uh, uh that the stock is no longer good mm-hmm. uh the syndicates uh, are selling out what the charts are telling you is actually the syndicate, what their intention and motives are. They are revealed in the chart exactly. through price and volume. Yep. There's no way you can know by just calling them up or from news. And news mm-hmm. won't tell anything uh, that they are selling. But the charts tell you that the syndicates are selling. So you sell okay, together with them. Mm-hmm. Uh, whereas the public who doesn't know how to read the chart wouldn't know that the syndicates are selling. And that's why uh, the charts uh, is yes. so useful. It's a very powerful skills tool. to learn is a very powerful tool i think each of the uh, trader yeah. must learn uh, this kind of skill yeah. yeah let me show you another example george can uh, uh, right yeah. now here george can we have a buy here if you look back to the left hand side uh, on the 19th of uh, september uh, at two dollar and uh, the 3.2 302 we have a buy signal and we have a sell signal here on the 28th of march at, at 418 thereafter can you see there's no buy arrow and so before the crash already told you to get out and even with the rebound like that there's no buy signal and you would have stayed out you would have stayed out from this point on on the 26th of march mm-hmm. and you solo at 418 guess what it dropped to 147 about five days ago here's another example mm-hmm. of having fallen 64 mm-hmm. percent okay before the market plunged yeah so uh, this is uh, basically how this works mm-hmm. now let's move on so uh this on the left hand side the blue color is telling you the pre-election drop even before the election these stocks already have been dropping why uh? because the shareholders here the investors here are already uncertain mm-hmm. about their counters it's exactly. showing up in the charts right? mm-hmm. and of course worse still when they lose the election there is a big sell-off ah, like that yeah. And so you might say, ah, it's very cheap. I'm going to buy now. It cannot fall further. It's already fallen so much. Mm-hmm. But i just say this to you. Any stock that has fallen by limit down, limit down, cannot go up so fast. Now, read so my book. Time. I've got a book which is a chart, uh, which is profitability of technical analysis, which is a black color book. 
And uh, inside that book, I have detailed some research that proved that stocks that went limit down, they cannot go up so fast. Yeah. So don't go and buy things in cheap because uh, it's just going to go sideways. You're just trapping your money. Uh, you must well use the money to buy another uptrend stock. Exactly. So let's continue. So my third okay, topic that I want to share with all of you, okay, ladies and gentlemen, is that the stocks, what are the stocks that are better off? Okay. Mm -hmm. So obviously those with BN, or not BN, PH, political ties, will be better off. But there isn't many. There isn't many, and so they went up for a little bit. No, but still some are sizable, like Opcom. Opcom, mm -hmm. all right, uh, before the election, okay, it went up 22.22%. Uh, 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 the difference, okay, after the election is 0.26%. And Triven, okay, so these are all up, AV, Eden, but they're not so strong. Huh? Not so strongly up, okay, because the opposition actually, we don't expect them to win. All right, so there you see the PH stocks, okay, before and after. Okay, obviously, after the election, everybody goes and looking for PH stocks to buy, okay, and but too late. A little bit too late, if you bought on 21st, today they all drop a lot, okay? And if you want to know which of the PH stocks can rebound, you can just text to us and we'll let you know. Uh, we'll send you back a chart to tell you what is our take, our analysis of that PH chart. In fact, one of them, Opcom, is actually not too bad. After this, I think I got Opcom for you to see. Mm -hmm. So, what about the stocks with foreign shareholdings? Huh? Now, um, there are many stocks that are controlled by or they have shareholdings uh, by foreigners. Huh? For example, Carlsberg, for example, Heineken, for example, okay, BAT, British American Tobago. They all have huh? Nestle and Dutch Lady and all that. So, now what are the foreign stocks? And were these stocks sold down? Were they, were they, uh, are the foreigners receptive towards a leadership change or not? If, if it is not, then it will come down further. All right? So we'll see. So these are the list of stocks that with foreign shareholdings. Maybe you can even take a snapshot. And they are BET, Air Asia, Public Bank, Eon Credit, Astro, okay, Westport, Casme, uh, uh, Healthcare, uh, Heineken, Airport, uh, Air Asia X, Top Glove, Eon, CCB, Ajinomoto, Genem, and so on. So as you can see, okay, they from this histogram, uh, pre-election they sold down, but very interesting. Mm. Post election they went up. Yeah. I mean, many people would have thought, hey, the foreigners, they don't know about pH, whether they can govern or not. And so uh, they normally you expect foreigners to sell down if you have a change in government. But you have a change in government. And you don't have a sell down. You have a buy up, <laughs> up to the 21st. Huh? Yeah. Now, 22nd, 23rd, these two days, they have been mm. selling down. That's because of new development. But um, we did some, re our research is up to the 21st. So you can see that it's still up. <clears throat> that foreigners, they somehow still like the new government. They're not disliking it. How do I know? Well, it's from the, the, the performance of all these stocks. All right. Oh, yeah. A big pardon, huh? Yeah. Okay. So here, our we also have our TED stocks, huh? Our stocks that we have picked up, you know, we have picked many of these stocks and uh, they are still buying. So you can take, have a list of all these. Uh, some of these stocks I'm going to feature today, but there are many of them are on buy mode, huh? Buy mode. Okay. So this is uh, uh, for those of you who took the trouble to come this evening and listen to us. These are the list of stocks that we are monitoring, yeah? Monitoring, okay? Now, before the election, uh, they were also sold down, but after the election, they are also up. So, in short, uh, you can see uh, the trend uh, is that the election has done wonders to our Malaysian stock market. Mm -hmm. When previously, okay, uh, people were just not, uh, uh, not confident at all about the future of our economy of our, our our country okay the, um, and so on and you know that by the way they sell down but right now it's up okay so you can see that the change of leadership is doing something different now uh, people are perceiving them uh, um, um, uh, differently positively okay so with these two days only there's a little bit of uh, 
uh, earthquake here, but if they are that they are now uh, doing something already uh, to uh, nullify it, so uh, that should stabilize the whole thing again. So uh, okay, so after the act, um, uh, PM, they did the interviews from twenty second and twenty to twenty four today. The market drop. So we 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 drop. So what is my outlook now for the CI? My outlook is this. Uh, I see it drop now to the point where it already had a one is to one, okay, in terms of uh, the, the the distance it traveled. It should stop here, which is what at one seven six eight. It hit that today and it close of it. Now, if it doesn't go below that point, this could be a point for it to rebound tomorrow. That is mm. my one scenario. Okay, but another scenario will be. If there is some continued selling further, now, and I don't see this coming because you know why. Uh, today, Mr. Lim, just uh, Lim Guan Eng of the finance minister just came up with a long statement uh, uh, to rebut the XPM uh, a statement this morning. So that is actually a very timely uh, piece of rebuttal yeah. on the right time. So I think the market should respond to Mr. Lim's a uh, statement uh, mm -hmm. about why the one trillion was there. Uh, uh, where who is it been paid to? So he has got all the statistics and the facts. Uh, unlike previously, he just didn't name it. So people thought just off the cuff, you know, and so on. So and then he's saying how stable these uh, uh, the the banks are going are right now, okay, and how liquid they are, uh, uh, and so on. Well capitalized. All these are all uh, 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 very reassuring uh, to a foreign investor. Okay, mm -hmm. the uh, so that. The other alternative, scenario two, if, for example, if it can continue to go down some more, it, it could do that, mm -hmm. okay, just to, uh, so people who who, who, are, who who just don't believe at all that the new government can do wonders and they are selling down. And if they do, the next target could be uh, lower than that, which is like 1730, okay, and even further, 1707. Mm -hmm. But I don't see that uh, 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 right away. Uh, and if the new government come up with uh, appropriate positive news okay and that could uh, beef up the confidence of investors you may not even see these lower lows at all right so that is my view about the ci what about the lower liners now notice here that the um, ci closed below the can the flagship day mm -hmm. candle day which is may 14 so that's quite bad right but um the Small cap index is much stronger. Let me just now move to the small cap index. Small and mid cap. Huh? Mm -hmm. So mid and small cap, sorry. Mm -hmm. And uh, notice it dropped three days today. And even at the close, it is only at the open of the flagship candle. It didn't go below the low mm -hmm. of the black ship, uh, flagship candle, whereas the CI did, but not the mid and small cap. Which means the mid and small caps, uh, they are stronger. They are stronger, they are still in demand. Mm -hmm. And uh, so um, those of you who have small caps stocks, uh, please don't look at the CI <laughs> to play your own stock. Mm -hmm. You know, many of our students and members, uh, uh, suddenly they panic. Oh, because today he dropped 30 points. I say, what stocks are you holding? Uh, I'm holding uh, uh, I'm holding Chrono. <laughs> hey, but Chrono is not a CI stock. Why are you looking at the CI for? You look Different at the difference. mid and small cap <laughs> stocks, you know what I'm saying? Ah, OWG, OWC in fact went up, you know, and certain stuff, G-Tronic went up. G-Tronic is not in the KLCI. So don't look at the wrong index to play your stock. You must ask yourself, what stock are you playing first? Are you, so a software will help. Huh? So let's come back to here. So uh, this, there could be a double bottom here, all right? And, and tomorrow, if there's a rebound, fine, it could continue. And let me just add this. I think this is a very good time for us to be collecting some good stocks and keep. Mm. Because I think this new leadership, now they are really meaning business. Huh? They are very serious about reforming the whole country, all right, about uh, uh, keeping their up uh, promise of the manifesto that they have uh, uh, promised us, all right. And so it will be a new dawn for Malaysia. Mm -hmm. And so this is the best time. Uh, to be investing good quality counters uh, i might add not those lousy lousy counters so what is good uh, you need to look at the balance sheet the, the fundamentals of the company mm -hmm. now if you ask us uh, we can look for the fundamentals for you we are chartists we look at the charts okay 
when to buy, where to sell, but fundamentally tell us what to buy and what to sell. Yes. But if you do ask us now, those lists that we are given there, those are good fundamental stocks as well mm-hmm. as technically sound stocks. So we are both FATA, fundamental analysis, analysis as well as technical analysts. Come, no, Mr. Fern, give us something to say. Yes, we have a question right here. Oh, yeah. Because you mentioned about... Now it's time actually to buy. Years. Now, now there's uh, two people right here. Tokong and Arafat are asking a question. Is it is it ten year cycle? We're gonna talk about ten yeah. year cycle. 1998, 2008, now to the 2018. So, yeah. what is your idea about that? Yeah, uh, you know the the title, the concept of cycles is also approximate. Okay, it may be plus or minus half a year or one year. So, um, one thing about cycles is you do not have an exact time they are going to happen mm. so what we do is we keep it at the back of the mind mm. we while i'm riding the bull i must be beware of the bear mm, that's good and that's very good one. yeah otherwise mm-hmm. if you keep on going up uh, and you're thinking all the time the cycle mm-hmm. uh 10 year cycle is coming and you staying cash mm-hmm. uninvested mm-hmm. and just because you think that the 10 year cycle is going to come and look there is a rally like what's happened in the Dow Jones. Exactly. Many people miss that. Many point. people miss it because yeah. they think there's a 10-year cycle. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the 10-year cycle, yeah, you know, might come. But when it comes, we chartists will know when it comes because why? Mm-hmm. It will show up in the charts. How? Through a break of a reaction low, which is a support. Or you draw a moving average on a 20, on a 50, it breaks the 20, it breaks the 50. RSI relative strength index is below 50 then you know look this is danger that's a time to reduce mm-hmm. okay your positions but not until then so cycle i might add you know, is a very approximate science mm-hmm. uh, and uh, we need to uh, um, know where that stands mm-hmm. and uh, and and uh, we prepare for it no doubt yes. but there is now no clue nothing of that mm-hmm. and as some uh, analysts that I talk to, uh, um, uh, they feel that the cycle low is already over. Mm. It's a very brief one this year. And in fact, the next cycle high is 2021. Mm-hmm. 2021. 2021. So, mm. you know, it's still a long way to go. And uh, our stocks are all um, have, have gone to a very low point. I, and so, um, so you, 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 you have to be realistic about it. So, all right, that's how I will look at it. Uh, the very good question yes. there, fun, you know, about yes. the cycle. In fact, I did talk uh, about cycles mm-hmm. uh, uh, prior to this, but uh, they just uh, uh, didn't materialize mm-hmm. this cycle. All right, it's a miss, this cycle. Mm-hmm. But all the time, I'm still uh, have it at the back of our mind. All right, coming back to here, therefore, the mid uh, cap and the small cap, I think it's time to look for some good ones but what are the good ones so we have a list of them all right mm-hmm. uh, here are the that stocks that are uh, that we, we we do have uh, 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 with us they're still positive even taking into account uh, yesterday's drop and today's drop yeah they're still good and here are our tech stocks these are the stocks now i'm going to come back after this i'm not going to give you the individual stocks to pick now out of this i'm going to pick five wow. for you but I will not do it right now because right now I want to pass it to Mr. Izon to share with you about how this great three months course is going to change your life, mm-hmm. you know, in terms of trading. If you yes. want to be a trader, yeah. then uh, there is no business to be a trading uh, unless you know technical analysis. Exactly. If you don't know what is called support, what is called resistance, what yes. is called trend line, mm-hmm. how are you going to trade? Yes. All right. Because one of the secrets that I don't mind telling you is you trade when a stock is in an uptrend. Yes. But how do you define an uptrend? And this is where chart pattern, charts uh, and mm-hmm. technical analysis can tell you exactly so i'm going to leave that exciting thing uh, uh topic to mr izon okay so i'll be coming back uh, later on with that so stay tuned and uh, uh after you have listened to mr izon then you stay back and then i will reward you with five good stocks to watch shall we mm-hmm. okay yeah. so now uh over to uh, mr izon he's going to present to us the professional certificate mm-hmm. in financial technical analysis mm-hmm. over to you is on yes thank you very much mr fed okay so uh tonight right here i'm going to share for those who interested now again i quite agree with mr fed right here there's no you have no business to trade in the stock market if you don't understand technical analysis now tonight 
Uh, stay tuned for a while right here because towards the end, as usual, Mr. Fred will share with you five stocks to watch. But today, I have a very important question for you. Now, right now, if you are listening to me right now, I know some of you right here really serious about how to become a successful uh, trader. I know some of you has been, you know, you know, having a tough time to trade the right market. And also, sometimes we see our market right here, Bursa Malaysia. Sometimes it's a good man. Sometimes it's a bad man. Now we need to know if if trading right here is a very important for you. You must learn technical analysis. There's no way that you can avoid it. If you study stock in fundamental analysis, you need to learn technical analysis to do your timing for entry. Now, regardless you trading stocks, forex, uh, you know, cryptocurrency, uh, index, you need technical analysis. So tonight, I want to share with you right here that how actually even technical analysis changed my life too. Now, technical analysis is about how you forecast the price. Now, this is a very expensive knowledge. I do believe, Mr. Fred, in each house, one person, at least from your home, need to learn technical analysis because you need to know when to invest your money, how to grow your money. So right here, we want to share with you uh, for the very first, uh, for this year again, we want to share with you the professional certificate in financial technical analysis. We open right here for those who really want to become a very good trader, really want to be successful in your life. So PCFTA, we provide two programs for you. One is for those who want to learn these skills so that you will be equipped to trade many kind of uh, many type of financial instrument. And another one, while you prepare for this PCFTA, you also prepare for international exam where you can take the diploma in technical analysis, uh, MSTA UK and certified financial technician CFTE. Now we want to share with you this PCFTA program. We are very proud. F1 Academy collaborate together with Asia, Asia e University. University. So basically your certificate is endorsed by university and not just a simple association just like that you are back up by university yeah. i think in mr fair one we are in fact we are the only school uh, actually that uh, provides a program uh, that gives you a certificate that, that is awarded by you mm -hmm. a university there are no other courses out there mm -hmm. uh, uh right now that yep. has any university backing at all mm -hmm. and uh, in fact we got a blessing of asia e university which is an accredited university in malaysia and in fact the whole of asia we are the only one yep. and in fact we are the only one uh, that is doing an online you know uh, yep. where those of you who are in sabah sarawak or you know place or where you can actually tune in or penang or what huh? yeah. without even having to come to kuala lumpur mm -hmm. and uh you can also see us hear us from the comfort of your own home you know mm -hmm. and um just with the camera and uh, your own uh, laptop and mm -hmm. so on uh. and uh, uh so we are the only one that is providing that mm -hmm. right so we just Go want ahead. to share with you okay now for those who want to learn this program right here this is will help you to actually to trade better in stock market regardless malaysian stocks singapore stock thailand stock u.s stocks regardless whatever stocks next one is if for those who want to trade fcpo now tonight i want to share with you fcpo fklI just in case you found out the bursa malaysia what, a bit slow what is cpo by mm -hmm. the way some might not know <laughs> yeah. uh, okay uh, so uh, cpo means crude palm oil actually okay. you can make money by trading the futures crude palm oil uh, malaysia is malaysia uh, is the yes. producer, largest producer of palm oil in the mm -hmm. world so we can trade that palm oil mm -hmm. this is called commodities trading mm -hmm. so we can teach you that yeah? yes and then next one right here for those who are interested to trade forex indices uh commodities uh, cfds and this is your chance right here to really learn how to trade correctly especially forex uh, the next one right here, we introduce a new uh, financial instrument called cryptocurrency. And during this program right here, not like just Bursa, you only make money when it's up. We want to teach you also how to make when the price is falling down, where you can short. So that is the great thing right here, learning this three months course. Okay, right now we want to share with you, we want to con con congratulate right here to our last year student right here. So these all the students that finally get their msta they got the diploma in technical analysis and this certification right here is recognized internationally right and and for your information right here we have this all list right here and also right here for those who don't take the exam no worry you can take the 
for a PCFTA certification with Asia University. And look here, we have a lot of candidates also taking uh, this uh, professional certificate. So it's collaboration together with Asia EU. And uh, early of this year, uh, this year, just a couple of weeks ago, uh, we just done which uh, we just done with 18 Intech on uh, January and April 2018. And we are very, very proud to, uh, to share this to you that the international exam for the yeah. paper one, 100%. we uh, get 100% passing rate and where four of our members right here, four of our students here get married, which is very, very high score internationally, right? So we just want to share with you that you are actually learning with a best, F, a best academy and the best learning uh, lecturers right here. Okay, so now beside that, we want to share with you as well, okay? We want to share with you as well. Uh, this is all the students that actually are uh, attending to our program. Look, they are uh, one of the great, uh, many of them is a great students right here. They enjoy this program. And this is all our students that they cannot come into the campus. They learn remotely by using online. the PCFTA online. And we want to share with you right here. There's no excuse. We just want to share with you one of the lady right here, Wong Shui Ting. She's from Johor, but currently staying in Singapore for working, but she's just joining us through PCFTA online. And you know what? She she's got the, the she's the best student. She got the highest score yes. in the international exam. So once again, uh, congratulations yes. to Shui Ting as well. So this is a proven uh, learning methods right here. Now, the next things right here, I want to share with you. This is the trading results that we have. Uh, beside you learning uh, the theory, we want to share with you, you will get a real result right here. So look, here, this is amazing trading result. We have a student make 120K profits, 167 profit, 16,000 profit, even four figure profit. Mm -hmm. And also we have a students that make great result in their Forex trading. Uh, some of them make $6,952 within one month. Some of them make uh, $674 within uh, just a few, uh, I think about one week. Some of them get it about, uh, you know, three days, mm. 718, mm. 3081. Now, guys, we just want to share with you right here. This result is real result, mm. okay? We want to share with you how exactly you can trade just like them. Now, for those who are listening right now, we want to share with you, this is your opportunity. It's been some time you kept to yourself. You continue to say that I want to improve my way of my trading. This is your chance right here to learn with PCFTA with us. Okay, the next one right here. For those who want to join this program, the registration open right now, May 1st until June 30th. Your program will begin on July 14th until October 25th. Not three days, not three weeks, but you're going to be with us three months. Yes, three months, okay? Now, uh, for those who want to join this program right here, this is what we say here. We are very proud. F1 Academy collaborate together with Asia E University. You get certificate from university, okay? And right here, we also prepare you to get uh, the exam, prepare you for the exam, for international exam, uh, diploma in technical analysis. You will get your cert with MSTA, Society of Technical Analysts United Kingdom. This is very powerful certification yeah let me just say uh, this is like the gold standard in technical analysis you know mm -hmm. uh once you have this certificate i mean you uh you can go to a broking firm like goldman sachs jp yep. morgan mm -hmm. even the government of singapore yes. they're looking for graduates uh, with the society of technical analysts uh, diploma mm -hmm. and that's how uh, 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 uh valuable this is okay the gold standard in technical analysis mm -hmm. and once you get your certificate right here we will upgrade you will actually help you to apply and you also will get because of you if you pass diploma part one and part two you will automatically as well uh, get your cfte certified financial technician this is one of actually uh, a lot of broker it's firm looking me. for cfte okay certified financial now you will get your certification right here from international federation of technical analysts usa so this certification you get is going to give you great enhancement for yeah. your career okay and it's also yeah. good for your personal achievement right okay and 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 this is another thing is like when you meet someone when you share about your your chart they feel good about you yeah your certified chart yeah. is yeah just so that they understand actually you don't take two exams right? you yes. take only one exam one exam which only. is the uh, sta the society of technical analysts uk once mm -hmm. you pass that uh, 
uh, you we will write for you. Yeah. Uh, we'll teach you how to write to uh, IFTA mm -hmm. for exemption. Yes. And so you just pay two hundred dollars, uh, and then you get another cert. So you know, uh, you study once, and we you take one exam, and then after that you get the other cert. Mm -hmm. So how nice, yeah. Yes. Uh, besides the Asia uh, University Asia certificate. Yes. Three certs. Yeah, we got three certs altogether. So. Five reasons why actually you should take this program right here. Reason number one, because you want to deepen uh, your understanding for the technical analysis and also the other indicators. That reason number one, you want to become a successful trader. Number two, because you want to obtain a diploma in technical analysis from renowned society, uh, societies such as STA and IFTA. The third reason is because you have the potential for employment in a big firm, uh, banks, and unit trust company like Bloomberg, Schroeder, Goldman Sachs, Merrill Lynch, and many more. Now, reason number four, uh, if you like to become a coach and a teacher, this certification will help you further. Okay, people have, will have more confidence on you. So for those who like to teach technical analysis in university or would you like to open your own academy, this kind of certification is a very important for you to have or to obtain. And last but not least, you would like to be like Sifu Fred Tam. One day you become an author in technical analysis. You like to help other people. You like to empower other people. So if you have this kind of certification, it will actually give a confidence to your readers uh, about what you're doing. So you, reason number five, because you want to become a successful author. So this is the five reason uh, you should join and enroll in this program. Okay, now the next one right here. If you take all this full package program right here, okay, that's mean you are preparing yourself for not one certificate, but three certificate. But here, just in case, if you don't want to take the international exam, but you just want to learn the skills, so we encourage you just only to take one certification, uh, certification only, which is PCFTA with Asia E universities right here, the first one. Okay, so you take, uh, you just submit four of your assignment, and you get a good marks, and you will get your professional certification. Yeah. No exams. No exams. No exam. Yeah. Uh, yeah. By assignment base. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, for those who are taking the exam, uh, you need to pass your diploma paper one and paper two. Once you pass this diploma, you automatically also get ready to get your CFTE. Okay. So indirectly, the best part, you get all three sets. Okay. Now, the next one right here, this we want to share with you, this is your starting weeks, okay? Three months, 15 days, and four night classes. Not every day, okay? So you only attend this program in campus every weekend, only Saturday and Sunday, okay? Only weekend for the next three months, okay? And I, we also have online webinar, okay? And then registration, we open May 1st until June, so July 14. For those who want to know the location, the location in campus will be at F1 Academy, Scott Garden or Klang Road, Kuala Lumpur. Okay, for those who want to be in the campus. So this is the schedule for those who want to join the program. We'll share with you for those who are interested. So three months program. So why you should learn this program right here? Because all the lecturer here is experienced and awesome. And one of the top lecturer, of course, none other than our principal lecturer, which is Mr. Fred Tam, 30 years experience uh, in technical analysis and also trading. And he is also a researcher and former fund manager. Now, beside that right here, we just want to share with you as well that uh, this is all the book that written by Mr. Fred and currently right now is also number one uh, best-selling right here in popular. So we just want to let you know that you are learning with few of the best lecturers in Asia. Now, the next right here, I just want to share with you the next lecture also will empower you throughout this program is Mr. Tang Kong Huat with experience of 20 years, uh, CFP, FCC, and CA. Okay, so you see you have a lot of great experience uh, lecture right here. Next one right here, we just want to share with you. Awesome lecturer, Mr. Nicholas Tan, all the way from Singapore. One of the best-selling author in Singapore for Handbook of Forex Trading as well. You have 20 plus year experience in Forex trading. You don't want to miss out learning from great lecturer like Mr. Nicholas Tan. In fact, I learned so much uh, from him. Okay, the next one right here that you don't, you don't want to miss out as well is Mr. Chu Wei Chun. For those who want to trade in cryptocurrency, he will share with you some idea how actually to trade uh, cryptocurrency, how to invest in cryptocurrency as well. Okay, so right here we have all these awesome lecturers, plus we also have all the awesome tutors and support uh, for your three months course program. So, five awesome features right here. If you sign up this program right here, you will get these five 
awesome features. Now, features number one, you will learn 13 powerful modules, uh, 13 powerful modules throughout this program. And this market value that you learn from F1 Academy is worth 90 thousand ringgit so we just want to share with you what modules that you're going to learn module number one right here that we want to share with you you will learn the introduction of technical analysis the next one right here you will learn also how to do the chart construction number three basic concept of trends okay number two uh, this is chapter number two module number two you will learn chart pattern okay major reversal patterns okay and also you will learn about major continuation patterns and gaps okay and also, beside here, you will learn a real practical in trading. Beside you learn theory, you will have your real practical. You will have a live trade together with us, okay? Now, module number three, you will learn the moving average, just not only, not only a moving average, but you will learn more than that. You will learn Donchin Channel, you will learn moving average, you will learn Bollinger Band, single mover, triple moving average, okay? Module number four, introduction of oscillators. Module number four as well, you learn RSI and MACD. You will learn also other popular system as well in this module number four. Very interesting. You will learn more about the oscillator in deep right now, including DMI, ADX, and CCI. Okay. Now, the next one right here, module number five, which is my favorite subject, is advanced candlestick charting. The Japanese candlestick has been used more than 200 years. Okay. This is the one of the modules that you don't want to miss out. Now, module number six, Elliott Wave Theory and Fibonacci techniques. These two theory is also among the popular modules among of all our students right here. You don't want to miss out, module number six. Module number seven, classical gun theory. Module number eight right here, relative strength. You learn how to compare, uh, you know, doing intermarket analysis as well, relative strength. Now, module number nine right here, cycle theory. We just talked about cycle yeah. theory just now. How important is cycle theory in your investing or your trading? Okay, and module number 10, this is a new one, cryptocurrency, introduction to cryptocurrency. Module number 11 right here is the new syllabus. For those who are taking the exam, you will learn about Kagi, Renko, and many more. And module number 12 right here, how to create your own trading system, the six basic steps. How you can create your own trading system. For those who want to create your own logic in algorithm and robots, you need to know these six basic steps before you begin your trading system. And last but not least, right here, module number 13, you will learn how to trade with a trading strategy right here using Ichimoku. All right, so these are very interesting module right here. Now, beside that right here, uh, we have a feature number two. If you join this program right here, we will give you a free time newsletter uh, worth 5,000 ringgit for the next six months. Uh, that's a feature number two. And feature number three right here, you also get the full complete package TAD system. Okay, you got this TAD system worth 60,619 ringgit. Now, feature number four, you also get a Telegram group support for six months. It's worth 5,000 ringgit. And uh, feature number five, you get advanced charting software. Plus, for those who like to trade Forex and MT4 product, you need to have a powerful template here. We'll share with you several of powerful templates once you join this program. And this uh, feature number five is worth 25,000 ringgit. So all together right here, you will learn in this program right here, the features that we give all to you, the value that we give to you for the next three months is worth more than 185,000 ringgit. Today, you can sign up right here for the PCFTA course at the price of 27,000 only, 27 and 787 only. Now, today we have a get... Uh, we have a good news for you, for those who are listening to us right now. Now, before we get started right here, you need to know yourself whether you want to learn in campus or you want to learn online. So you can learn with us both way. Uh, if you prefer to learn with us online, you will listen to us live uh, through the webcast, okay? Now, we want to share with you right here, we have a special promotion right here. We have Raya promotion. Uh, when you see the just, just now the amount that we share with you, 27,787, this Raya promotion, we would like to announce here, we would like to give you further 30% discount right here, up only until 7 June. And of course, all this pricing right here, already with zero GST. <laughs> okay, so the price right now, if you want to learn in campus, is only 19,450 ringgit. And guys, if you're listening to us right now, this promotion price is only valid up to 7 June. After 7 June, you will never see this price again. 
So hurry up, you need to contact to our uh, contact member right here. This is for those who want to learn in campus. And for those who want to learn online, you can sign up right here online, uh, PCFT online. The price is 24,373. We give you Raya promotion as well. Of course, with zero GST, you can join PCFT online with only price of 16,982 ringgit. So all this learning fee right here is not include yet your exam fee, yeah? So for those who want to take, uh, you know, the CFT exam, okay, you have to add another 6125. Okay, we will brief you uh, once you join this program right here. So that is your learning cost of fee right here. So this is absolutely, absolutely is a major promotion. It's time for you to grab right here until 7 June only. You will see this price. And once 7 June is done, we'll revert, revert back to original yeah. price. You will never see that price again. Okay, so right here, if you for those who want to get more information right here, contact this two number right here, Miss Amy 0132621218 and Miss Cherry 0172587783. For more info, you can go to the website f1tradeacademy.com slash pcfta. All right. So for those who stay tuned with us, once again, thank you very much. And we are welcoming right here for all the new traders right here with us in three months course. So once again, I would like to pass back right here to Mr. Fred, because okay. why Mr. Fred have awesome okay. five, uh, few stocks to watch. So go ahead, yeah. Mr. Fred. We have a lot of stocks to watch all for right, tonight. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, yeah. Thank you for your patience, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. So now we get back to our stocks to watch for you as promised mm -hmm. but let me just say that you know sixteen thousand is very cheap right? it's a grab uh, it's a grab it's without gst you, exactly. know, you know you can make that money in a couple of trades actually yep yep so uh so go ahead you know i think uh, it should not waste this opportunity now let me continue mm -hmm. uh, let's go to stocks to watch all right okay. um hold on stocks to watch okay so now oops mm -hmm. the technique that I used to pick our stocks to watch, uh, and, and they will be taught in the uh, three months course. But yeah. uh, I will show you a share with you a little bit mm -hmm. uh, about how we pick our stocks. Now, first of all, uh, we have a formula, and the formula is put into a software called Share Master Station. And nowadays, uh, nowadays the technology is such as we use a software to help us to look through all the stocks and find out what are the stocks that are good, yes. uh, that are good and trending for us tomorrow, next week, and so on, okay? So now, you know there are 1,000 over stocks in KLSE. If you have to do it manually, you flip one by one, uh, that takes ages, maybe six, seven hours. Those yeah. days, uh, it took me so long to in order to discover which stocks to buy. But mm -hmm. nowadays, with technology and the software, I just got to put our formula inside, uh, which is a TAD system, that three arrows, and uh, in less than a minute, you can... I know what are the stocks that we buy signal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here are a few stocks, okay, with buy signal, but uh, uh, here is basically how we do it. At the TAD system called Turtle, Atom, and Ducks, okay, uh, consists of three arrows. And with that software that you see on the right hand side, the little box, uh, and uh, if you want to look for buy, we just click on the three arrows up and you'll know how to search. If we want to sell, we look for the three arrows down and we know when to sell, right? And that's simple, as simple as it gets. Right. And if you want to know the formula behind, that's where the three months course comes in. Yep. We'll teach you how, okay, the logic behind it, mm -hmm. the formula behind it, why it works, yep. okay, what are the pros, what are the cons, the strengths and the weaknesses. So here are the five stocks to watch here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. um, so the top three of them has got very good fundamentals as well uh, for those of you who want to put your hard-earned money for example uh, you wouldn't want a trading stock with no uh, track record of profit that's those are called turnaround stock like the media and the opcom but you know the top three uh, we have already checked in terms of the dividend yield and their PE ratio mm -hmm. and they all qualify and technically they also have got our three arrows up so first one Ma Singh Ma Singh, mm -hmm. yeah. So here is a chart of Ma Singh, and uh, let me see. Yeah. Okay, now let me get the cursor, and uh, you see it coming down all the way. Now on this left hand side, no trade, no yeah. trade. You cannot make any money within a downtrend. But notice how it makes a U turn here, all right? And it is now making a higher high and no higher low. So that to us is a hint that the stock is turning around. And I check. 
I checked Masing's background. Oh, they have very nice dividend. I didn't tell you here the dividend, huh? But there is there are dividends here, yeah? uh, and it is actually at a uh, cyclical low. Well, there is a three-year cyclical low. In short, okay, this is a buy uh, and a hold, right? And even with today, the market so you know jittery, uh, it is very steady. Mm -hmm. And based on the TAD system, the total at the Vendax, there is a buy signal. Mm -hmm. All right, here's the target. The targets. Now, I measure it for the benefit of our members who are not probably yet technically savvy. Mm -hmm. Didn't go to the course. We do the measurement for you. Look at the possible target here, 135. Right now, it's only at 110, something like that. Okay, so that's one good stock to look at. Uh, okay, three arrows up. Stock number two, Hevia. Hevia is also fundamentally sound. Can you see the dividend yield here? In fact, I uh, even put it out here for you to see. P ratio is eight, uh, eight over times. Now, you see this? They have been coming down just like before, and they make a U turn. Now, this is standard procedure. That's how we can gauge a stock that is downtrending to uptrending. Mm -hmm. And although it pulled back uh, the last couple of days, in fact, it's a very good opportunity for you to be. Uh, collecting and buying on dips mm -hmm. and uh, you can buy on dips here or you can wait for it to rebound and break out of 106 to buy and TAD there's a buy signal and here are the targets various targets for Hevia okay next one Tambun Tambun another great stock can you see they're all like coming down like a waterfall and then they make a U-turn mm -hmm. they're all about the same a chart is a chart is a chart mm -hmm. right so for us Okay, we look at the patterns. We know whether the jurongs are actually going to push it up or push it down. In this case, it's bottoming out already. And we are buying right at the bottom of a market. Tambun, very nice uh, dividend yield. Even though it doesn't go up, for example, it's going to give you a dividend yield. About 6% like that. Yeah. So here is three. Now, we've got a few more. Uh, but if you do become a member, Okay, of our tax system or the three months course, three months course, then we got a six month newsletter for you. Yes. Obviously, you'll be able to chit chat with me mm -hmm. and I'll be able to give you a list of stocks, okay, uh, for uh, investing on the long term, especially if you are retired or you know you are a reservist, you're conservative, you like a stock that is fundamentally also sound, you know, yes. and so this is where we consider. But there are also trading stocks, so I'm going to list uh, one trading stock for you, which is. This is not a trading stock. This is a turnaround stock. Media. Media owns TV3, among other uh, stations and other media. And uh, look, if you believe that TV3 is going to be around or not, or, you know, the uh, present government, they're going to shut down TV3. But I what I know is that Mr. Lin Ke Chiang is saying, no, they are not going to shut down TV3. And TV3 is going to use, in our uh, opinion, to be used by the government to promote and broadcast their policies and ideas, right? So TV3 will be used a lot. And uh, with the government now taking over this this company, mm -hmm. right? Don't you think that this is a good stock to be in, mm -hmm. right? And you know, this drop from three ringgit, three ringgit now to 30 cents is only 10%. Mm -hmm. And imagine all the funds have already bought all the way down. And you're buying right at the bottom. You can't go wrong at all, right? So this is, and then technically there is a buy signal as well. And it's just only making a U-turn. It is what Mr. Izom would say, called a baby bull. Yes. A baby bull. <laughs> All right. So now we've got now uh, three arrows up. Huh? Now this is the long-term media. Just now yeah. our short-term media, mm -hmm. right? Uh, about less than a year. Mm -hmm. This is uh, since 2014. Can you see the 3014? 2014, sorry. A, a high is 320. Wow. And it's now down to 42 cents. Wow. Ooh. 30 old cents, right? 40 cents. So this is something to look at mm -hmm. right so uh let me see any other okay and last one okay last one opcom now this one okay is because of the ph government right it belongs to i think somebody okay very <laughs> and the leadership now notice it pulled back a lot but it's a great time to buy you know why because it's not stopping at zero 68 cents is the resistance too and uh, it's also represent a 62 percent fibonacci support and uh and there's a hammer today and so we can expect okay some bottom to be found and we should expect it to go back up to at least a double top which is 170. so there you are have it i've got only time for five because why well, it's already 10 o'clock mm -hmm. 
Uh, I would be most happy to uh, finish you with more stocks once you become a member of yeah. our three months project. Yeah? Yes, we are so, welcoming. Yeah, back to you. Yes. So once again, for those who are joining us right here, want to say thank you very much right here. Uh, 200, uh, almost 300 of you right here uh, listening to us right here. So once again, thank you very much for making our market outlook and stocks watch a great success. Yes. And for those who are interested to join the three months course and you like to upgrade your advanced skills, we would like to welcome you right here. Yeah, and you don't you don't have take. to wait until June the first because uh, right now we are already, already practicing zero GST. zero GST. Yes. So happy shopping. <laughs> yeah. All right. So once again, on behalf of F1 Academy and Tap Team, my name is Azon Constantine, and I'm Fred Tom. We'll see you again. Good night, Good and night. see you all again. Keep in touch. Bye.